Now, let me discuss another drug which can be used in patients with the congestive heart failure. The other drug which can be used is the Ivabredin. Now, remember Ivabredin, it is actually the drug which is used in the angina pectoris. Right, it is the drug which is used in the angina pectoris. Now, what is the mechanism of action of these particular drugs? The mechanism of action of these ivabridine, it is a, a funny current blocker. This is a funny current blocker. Now, what is this funny current blocker and all? I will be discussing when I am discussing the pharmacology of the drugs in angina pectoris. But what is the use of this ivabridine in congestive heart failure? I will be discussing now. Remember, ivabridine is the drug which will reduce the heart rate of the individual. Ivabridine is the drug which will reduce the heart rate of the individual. So, when ivabridine it is causing the reduction of the heart rate, the advantage in patients with the congestive heart failure is it will decrease the myocardial oxygen demand. It will decrease the myocardial oxygen demand. Sir, already in patients with the congestive heart failure, the heart is not pumping and when you are reducing the heart rate, won't it be a disadvantage for the patient? The answer is no. Why? Because what did we discuss in patient with congestive heart failure? As a part of the compensatory mechanism, there is activation of sympathetic nervous system. When sympathetic nervous system is activated, the heart rate in a patient with the congestive heart failure, it increases. So, if you give ivabridine, it will reduce the heart rate and it will reduce the oxygen demand by causing bradycardia. Now, the European guidelines, what is being recommended for congestive heart failure is, in patients with the congestive heart failure, with heart rate more than 70 and with ejection fraction less than 35 percent and the patient is symptomatic in spite of giving beta blockers, in spite of giving ACE inhibitors, in spite of giving aldosterone antagonists, even then if the individual is symptomatic, that is the indication where you have to give the ivabridine. I will repeat again. Ivabridine, it is given in patients with heart rate more than 70 beats per minute with ejection fraction less than 35% and the patient is still symptomatic in spite of giving beta blockers, ACE inhibitors and aldosterone antagonist. So, even then if the patient is symptomatic, that is the point when you will give this Ivabridine. But remember an important point about the ivabridine. This ivabridine, this is not FDA approved for the indication of the congestive heart failure. 